Actor Finn Jones has said he wants to play Iron Fist again so he can, quote, prove all the motherfuckers wrong. So let's talk about that a little bit. My name's Andrew Dunn. I'm a licensing expert. I have my master's in acting and I host a pop culture podcast called The Media Lunch Break. Finn Jones, who played Danny Rand in the Iron Fist Netflix series back in the day, has been uh, in the news a lot lately because he's been sort of passing the buck on why that series didn't do well. I have a theory that I would like to try out. Let's just sort of play a game, play a little thought game with this. Maybe it's because the show was bad, because it was, it was a bad show. So like, let's get that out of the way, right out of the gate, right? An incredible actor cannot save a bad script or bad direction. Take a look at a movie like Masked and Anonymous, which by the way, I actually love, but critics hated it. Here's some of the cast. Jeff Bridges, Penelope Cruz, John Goodman, Jessica Lang, Lang, Lange? I don't know how to pronounce it. Luke Wilson, Angela Bassett, Bruce Dern, Ed Harris, Val Kilmer, Cheech Marin, Chris Penn, Giovanni Ribisi, Mickey Rourke, Christian Slater, Fred Ward, Robert Wisdom. And with all of those great actors, it still only has a Metacritic score of 32 out of 100. Maybe I'll do a video about that movie because it is really, really good and I will f***ing die on that hill with a copy of the DVD in my hands. But my point is just that all of those actors are widely considered to be some of the best at what they do and that movie was still pretty heavily panned by critics. Even they couldn't save it. Secondly, good actors can have off movies, off shows, off projects. Uh, not everything they make is going to be good. Iron Fist isn't necessarily indicative of Jones's talents as an actor. I mean, look at someone like Gary Oldman. I, he's my favorite actor. He's given us some masterpieces but he's also given us some total shit. And frankly, I haven't seen Finn Jones in anything else, or if I have, I've forgotten, so maybe he's bad, I don't know. But here are a couple of points that I wanted to touch on. First of all, the fight choreographer, among other people involved with the production of Iron Fist, has said that Finn Jones was often late or completely absent from fight choreography rehearsals. And this forced them to have to change a lot of stuff to accommodate the fact that he wasn't really able to do a lot. They had to shift the series around him and his inability to be a martial artist. Jones has said that this is due to scheduling conflicts because he was working on another project at the time, but like, you f***ing took the job, you scrub. Like, you don't accept two full-time jobs and then blame one of the employers for double booking you. I mean, if you want to play the system, fine, get a little extra bread until one of the places fires you. But don't be mad about it after. Like, it's not their fault that you couldn't give 100% of yourself to this series. Also, calling Marvel fans mother while it might work for Samuel L. Jackson, might not be the best way to start a grassroots campaign to get you back in the saddle for this one. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. A am I being too hard on him? What do you guys think? Like, tell me in the comments. Should we give this guy a second chance or is he being like a total asshole right now? But yeah, that's all I had for this video. We're trying to do more videos in 2023. A lot of stuff that's easier, like sort of talking to the camera about news stuff that we don't get to talk about on the show, uh, but some other stuff too. So keep an eye out for that. So yeah, uh... Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.